like you said, I spoke to the family not long ago, and they have hope for two family members who remain here at the hospital tonight. However, they are mourning the loss of little two-year-old Tanasia Morgan. At a dealership like Uptown, there's dozens of cars on the lot, but these thieves were looking for a quick getaway, and for that, they went straight to the showroom. Family members walking through this house for the first time today. This family is left with nothing but some charred memories of happier times. Well, for the people of Honduras, getting quality medical care can be quite a challenge for them. Well, luckily, there are some local doctors and organizations here in mid-Michigan that are taking it upon themselves to reach out and help the people in Honduras. Pam Handling, a nuisance or one of life's necessities? That's a question Flynn Township officials are weighing with a proposed ordinance that would ban panhandling. Well, they are a perfect 4-0 against the home side in those four games at Kauffman Stadium. The Tigers outscored the Royals. 26 to 8. Your entertainment headlines this morning. Transport for London staff presented the Duchess of Cambridge with a baby on board badge Wednesday. The big story in last night's All-Star game was Derek Jeter, the Yankee shortstop who played in his last All-Star game before retiring at the end of the season. Hundreds of people are expected to come out here tonight. They're already filing in and police assure that this entire area is secure after those vital explosives were discovered not far from this very area earlier this morning. A pack of dogs is on the prowl in Saginaw and officials are saying watch out. Welcome back everyone. I'm here with Lottie Ferguson this morning of the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Flint. Good morning Lottie. Good, Good to morning, have you. Brittany. How are you? I'm um, good. Thanks. We're talking about an annual event. It's a little different this year, mm -hmm. but it's wine, women and chocolate and it sounds fabulous. Each. The Board of State canvassers ruling three to one that advocates fell short of the signatures needed to put the proposed law before lawmakers or a statewide vote. And his younger brother Matthew have a lot in common. We go duck hunting and uh, go shoot and trap, have all kinds of fun stuff, go off roading. Even a sense of competition. Just ask Chris's wife, Courtney. I honestly thought it was going to be that haha, I'm better than you attitude from my husband. So when Courtney and Matthew's fiance, Allie, found out they were due to have their babies one week apart, Matthew admits. Oh, yeah, it was a race. Oh, it was, yeah, it was a race. One day, one hospital, one doctor, lots of family, and two babies. We're all making kind of jokes, like, wouldn't that be funny if they were born on the same day? And long and behold. When Chris and Courtney arrived at Aurora Medical Center for their scheduled C-section, Chris's younger brother, Matt, was already inside. Chris and Courtney welcomed Cadence first. James arrived for Matthew and Allie next, both born at Kenosha's Aurora Medical Center Friday, December 4th. About two rooms apart, right around the corner. We could walk back and forth and see the babies. We went for walks around the hospital with them, show them off. Oh, my nurse was in awe that she was like, I can't believe this just happened and I got to witness it. Brothers sharing yet another life experience. Matt's been calling Chris nonstop. Can you help me put my car seat base in? I don't know how to do it. He's always been there for me, so, you know, and this just made us stronger. Now we're just even closer now. Another moment to treasure for these brothers and a lifelong bond for these little cousins. In Kenosha, Brittany Shannon, WISN 12 News. Try to um, forget about it, but I can't. It's just every night, just like I have a nightmares. This surveillance video shows the terror of what Brian Kim experienced firsthand. It was Wednesday, September 30th. He was behind the counter when two men with guns entered the store an hour before closing time. Kind of suspicious because I always look at the cameras. Ray Edwards was also working. I seen two guys. One had the gun on my boss and the other one, he came and put the gun on me. Told me to get on the floor. He told me to um, on the ground and then I was uh, on the ground the whole time. Five more masked suspects stormed in, ransacked it, and left with stuffed trash bags. Kim says they took at least $20,000 in merchandise. These are most expensive um, jeans in our store, and they grab it from here to all the way down. The store already had many security features, 32 cameras inside, but now they're making one change. This door will now be locked every night at dusk. After 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, lock the door, and then I'll just, we just get the people in one by one. I'm just still scared at night. Hoping this bad dream will come to an end. In Milwaukee, Brittany Shannon, WISN 12 News.
Well, that's right, Patrick. And I just got off the phone with Kenosha County Sheriff Beth. Not long ago, he tells me investigators drove down to Lake County, Illinois last night, spoke to Obergon. He says at this point, Obergon is cooperating. Obergon was in Lake County Court this morning. He'll be back in court tomorrow morning. Cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom in Lake County. It's streets like this one that have been causing outrage among Milwaukee residents all day. You can see the height of this snow right here near 29th and Lincoln. A snowplow actually just went through, but this is just one example, and it's been one example of the many streets that have been virtually untouched by a snowplow since last night. Orange is out. Black and white are in. There are the new colors being worn by prisoners in the Saginaw County Jail. Sheriff William Fetterspiel says he's changing jail jumpsuits thanks to the hit TV series Orange is the New Black. Back in the kitchen with Chef Becca, and Good you are a cooking machine this morning. That's what I'm calling you I because am. she is. She's cooking Easter dinner before Easter. Can I show you a good yes, way to, everyone, to get some aggression out? We need to this get. is our pork loin. You want to cut it in half, butterfly it, and then you want to pound it. She's been doing this all morning. I have. <laughs> And that makes it nice and tender and, and easy to roll up. And that's flat, do yes. We're here in the kitchen with Beth from Michael's this morning. Good morning to you, Beth. Good How morning. you doing? You brought some great stuff with you, and I was telling you, I'm a big fan of the chalkboard paint. So starting out, tell people, what is chalkboard paint? 